Every city has distinctive architecture of its own. When you think about Paris, the first thing that comes to your mind is the Eiffel Tower. Big Ben comes to mind when you talk about London. The Statue of Liberty comes to mind when you mention New York. What are Beijing's famous landmarks then? Let's have a look at the 10 must-see landmarks in Beijing, China. The Big Wall The Great Wall is without a doubt the most important Beijing landmark. It is the world's longest wall because its length is 21,196 kilometers, 13,170 miles, over 2,300 years were spent on its construction, which began during the Warring States period, 770-200, BC. Although the Great Wall has sections in 15 different provinces, some of the most impressive and well-preserved sections are found in and around Beijing. The Great Wall's most stunning repaired portion is called Mushinyu, and it is well liked by tourists from other countries. The busiest and most popular area for Chinese tourists is Badaling. Read Badaling or Mushinyu, which is better for visiting, for some guidance if you're unsure of which area to go to. The Jin Shanling and Jiangku parts might be the most suitable for hikers. Try a nighttime excursion to the Samata portion of the wall if you want to view some new landscape. It is the only area accessible for excursions at night. Beijing's Forbidden City The Forbidden City, which was constructed in 1406, is the world's biggest ancient palatial building. The total area of this city is 720,000 square meters, 0.28 square miles, in which 150,000 square meters, 0.6 square miles, are used for buildings. The rectangular courtyard is 961 meters long, 753 meters wide, and 10 meters high, with more than 70 palaces and nearly 9,000 rooms. On the courtyard's axis are the significant palaces. Along the ridge line of the hallways is a row of ethereal animal statues. The power of the royal family is shown through red walls and yellow tiles. The Forbidden City is a prime example of traditional Chinese design. Here, there were 24 emperors and their concubines. Many stories are related to this courtyard because they happened there. Despite some of it sounding absurd, some of it altered the direction of history. See what the Forbidden City appears to be by entering. You can explore the hidden stories and imagine how those ancient people lived there. The Heavenly Temple The Temple of Heaven, which had an area of roughly 2.7 million square meters, 667 acres, was where the emperors of the Ming, 1,368-1,644, and King, 1,636-1,912, dynasties went to worship heaven and make harvest-related prayers each year. The temple is well known for its precise architectural layout, distinctive architectural design, and magnificent architectural adornment. It is the biggest and best preserved collection of altars in China. The park's main halls are arranged in a roughly 750-meter line running from the Imperial Vault of Heaven, past the Hall of Prayer for Good Harvest, to the Circular Mound Altar. The construction and architecture display the core concepts of ancient Chinese cosmology, beliefs, and religion. The Temple of Heaven is now used by locals as an exercise park. They travel there each morning to perform sword dances, kung fu, and tai chi. Tiananmen Alley Tiananmen is depicted in the design of the People's Republic of China's national emblem. Beijing's heart is Tiananmen Square. It has a surface area of 440,000 square meters, 0.17 square miles, and can hold a significant assembly of 1 million people. It is the world's biggest city square. In 1949, Chairman Mao announced the establishment of the People's Republic of China from the Tiananmen Rostrum. Mao Zedong's Mausoleum, where Chairman Mao's remains are interred in a crystal coffin, is located to the south of the square. Many significant historical occurrences in Chinese history took place in Tiananmen. As a result, it is highly regarded by many Chinese people. The Water Cube and the Bird's Nest The Water Cube and the Bird's Nest were both constructed for the 2008 Summer Olympic Games. The place where they are is Olympic Park. For the 2022 Winter Olympics, they will be renovated in the future. The largest steel building in the world is called the Bird's Nest. The 2008 Beijing Olympic Games closing ceremony, sports competitions, and football championship were all held there. 
The 2022 Winter Olympics opening and closing ceremonies will take place there. The water cube is the biggest application project for ETFE ethylene tetrafluoroethylene in the world. Its shape is that of a unique bubble. Because of the way the building's soap bubbles reflect sunlight and give the appearance of sparkling water drops, it is known as the water cube. The Grand Theater of the Nation The National Grand Theater, Beijing's largest theater, is located close to Tiananmen Square and has a total size of 118,900 square meters, 29 acres. The main building of the theater is shaped like a shell. 18,398 titanium plates and 1,226 pieces of clear glass make up the theater's exterior. A man-made lake entirely encircles it, giving it the appearance of an egg floating on water from above. Lights are scattered around the surface. The theater glitters as darkness descends. You'll be transported into a fantastical realm by the numerous concerts and traditional Chinese operas that are performed there. Headquarters for CCTV the 2012 completion of the 187,000 square meters, 46 acres, CCTV headquarters building. The main building is made up of a 44-floor tower, 194 meters high, and a 52-floor tower, 234 meters high. A significant cantilever extends 162 meters between the two buildings. In 2007, Time magazine ranked the building among the top 10 architectural wonders in the world. There is an unusual aspect to the building. Because it resembles huge underwear, Beijingers affectionately called it Dei Kucha, D-K-H-A, literally big underpants. The building's 37th story, which is more than 100 meters high, has a toughened glass floor and offers visitors a bird's-eye perspective of the city. Samsung S-O-H-O The largest shopping center in Beijing is Galaxy S-O-H-O. The more than 50,000 square meter, 12 acres construction project took three years to complete and began in 2009. Galaxy SOHO draws attention with its sleek design, particularly for its bird's eye perspective. To create a flow of dynamic beauty, four separate buildings each with its own atrium and circulation core are joined at various levels. However, the mall has generated a lot of discussion. Some believe it takes up too much space in the heart of Beijing and contrasts with the city's historic architecture. Others praise it for adding modern touches to Beijing's architecture. At least in terms of its majesty and beauty, it can be regarded as a landmark in Beijing. Tower IAI of the China World Trade Center The China World Trade Center, WTC, should be mentioned when discussing contemporary Beijing. The World Trade Center, WTC is a 1.1 million square meter building complex that acts as the biggest global trading hub. Along with towers, I and I, it, it comprises the China double UTC tower, I. Tower I, 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 which has 80 floors and rises to a height of 330 meters, was added to the complex in 2007. It is located in Beijing's central business district and combines office, hotel, conference, exhibition, shopping, and entertainment facilities. Beijing Zoon With a height of 528 meters, the China Zoon or CITIC Tower is Beijing's tallest structure, Zoon, which is Chinese for a big old wine jug. It was finished in 2018 and is currently in use. On the top floor, there are hotels, offices, and a rooftop garden. Traditional Chinese ritual cups called Zoon served as the inspiration for its architectural design. The building leaps through the air, exhibiting its unflappable vitality and conjuring an exotic beauty. The top 10 landmarks in Beijing, China, are now complete. I sincerely hope you loved it and were motivated to make Beijing a part of your future trip. Please like the video comment and share it with your loved ones if you enjoyed it. For more videos on travel, you can also subscribe to our channel. Have a good vacation!